Hi and welcome to the Learning Coco Story series. My name is Mohammad Azam and this is the first part of the series uh, and in this I'm not going to actually code anything or some, anything like that uh, because this is kind of like just a basic introduction to the Coco Studi, what Coco Studi is all about and why you should select Coco Studi over other uh, frameworks. Okay, so Coco Studi, and let me actually go to the website if I can open this. Uh, here we go. So let me actually go to the Coco Studi website. So Coco Studi is basically a framework for iPhone for, and also for iPad and all the iOS devices to create uh, games. I mean, you can create business apps with that if you like, but it's mainly for creating games, okay? And uh, one of the good things about Coco Studio is that it is really fast or really uh, accelerates your Coco Studio game development. Okay, so if you're using the core framework, which is provided by the uh, Apple SDK, it might be a little bit hard for you if you're a newcomer to uh, you know get started with the animations and get started with all the effects and everything available to you so coco studio what is it it's a jam packed framework uh for creating games so if you write if you want to write animations if you want to use some sort of school effects which are called particle effects you can easily do so by using the coco studio framework the best part about this is it's free so it's uh, community supported and it is completely free. You can go and download it. So if you go to the website, which is cocostudy-iphone.org, you can just go to the download link and you can download the latest uh, the framework for uh, the Coco Studi. Okay, so we have the latest framework right now. It says like 0 0.99.5 and then they have, uh, you know, other frameworks as well. Um, another thing that is really cool about Coco Studio is the uh, community okay it's not only I mean these these days you have to create a very good community around the product that you're developing okay in order for that product to be successful a free product even uh, and you can actually see the Coco Studio community is very active you will see a lot of participants uh, taking part in the forums and answering questions, asking questions, and you will also see a lot of articles related to the Coco Studio. So if you selected the Coco Studio framework, it will be much easier for you to kind of like get started and get ahead from other people who are using some other framework. Um, documentation is one of the things that Coco Studio uh, lacks a little bit, I think. I mean, I, I have a little bit of trouble with the documentation, but uh, you know, if you if you just try out the API and go through uh, the documentation you will find that it's pretty uh, reasonable although uh, it's not really complete and uh, someone hopefully will uh, work on the documentation to you know improve it the games now if you're wondering uh, what games are actually created in croco 2d one of the famous game train yard is actually created using coco Studio framework and here's a list of all the games that are created using coco Studio, and the list actually just goes on and on and on uh, with the Coco Studio games, okay. The the reason that there are a lot of games using Coco Studio framework is, of course, that they, they are it's uh, very easy to create games using Coco Studio. And here's my game actually. It's not not one ninety nine is ninety nine cents, uh, but here's my game, which is also using Coco Studio framework, okay. And you can actually see the list is actually just goes on and on and on with the games that are created using Coco Studio. All right. If you are using let me actually go to the front page, I think. So if you are using Xcode 4, then there's a little bit of things for, uh, like if you want to, uh, you know, install the templates. Uh, let me actually find that for you. Uh, here we go, Coco Studio Xcode 4 templates. So uh, you can easily run these, these commands and get your uh, template running, okay? And I, I use this, this particular instance uh, you just download the template and you put this in the library developer to Xcode and templates and uh, you just unzip you know your templates over there and that's pretty much what you have to do and it will you know you will get the template so if I go ahead and if I run my Xcode right now you will see that I do have templates installed for the Coco Studio framework so if I select the template okay let me actually go and say create new project 
okay and you can actually see here we go so we have a box 2d chipmunk to chipmunk uh, and also a simple coco 2d application available to go so if i select this template and you know go ahead then you will see that all the necessary files for to run the coco 2d application uh, will automatically be added okay which is pretty cool actually another good thing about coco 2d is uh, that there are many other frameworks, many other tools that will emit out the code which can be used with the Coco Studio framework. One of the tools that I really like is Level Helper, uh, which will emit out levels uh, in Objective C, and they are compatible with the Coco Studio framework. Okay, and there are many other tools that you can use. You can easily use Tile, T I L E D, to make Tile kind of like Zelda type games, and you can use that with uh, you know Cocos 2D um, then you know there are many different tools that will you know here we go here's another extension if you want to create 3D games there's a Cocos 3D which is an extension of Cocos 2D so you can see that the Cocos 2D is not living in an isolation but it is community supported it is widely used and if you want to build games for iPhone iPad or, or your Macintosh computers, uh, Mac computers, which runs on, you know, the games that will run on uh, iOS games, then Coco Studio uh, should be your choice for the framework. Okay, so this this was a very brief introduction to the uh, Coco Studio framework, and uh, basically what I'm trying to do is kind of like create the series in which we can learn Coco Studio, and I will actually learn uh, with you along the way. And uh, we will go uh, uh, one step at a time towards, uh, you know, multiple parts. And we'll see that how Coco Studio Framework can provide us with uh, the tools that are necessary to create awesome games. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, watch the whole series. I will be providing more uh, videos, more screencasts in the future. Okay, thank you very much.